Alexandra Ramirez, <laughs> Laura Gonçalves and I yeah. are part of PAP Animation Studios, it's an author's cooperative based in Porto, in Portugal. And uh, it all started, started uh, ten, more than 10 years ago. Uh, David and I were made this film in Lisbon where we met Alexandra and Laura and then we were back to Porto and we wanted to, to keep doing films and making a living from that. So we set our animation studio in an existing fiction film production company that was Bando Apart and we started for there. Uh, at certain point, the amount of work that we have and the amount of productions became too, too, too much and we decided to, to, not to separate, but in a way create the BAP Animation Studio that is, it is a cooperative with a horizontal structure that made sense with our way of living until there. <laughs> So, well, we, we worked for a lot of time to this other company and we learned a lot about how to make films. We worked in different phases, so this helped a lot to understand how we organized the process of making a film, like organizing team, what would be the roles of, of, of um, each member of the team. We just had autonomy about what we were doing in Porto, about the production direction and everything. So we have everything was very well structured already. We just, when we split, not split, but when we break with the Bandua part in the terms of bringing the bureaucracy parts to us, was just uh, another amount of work that we have to do because the other things were already in the studio. So what we did was maintain this horizontal structure that we already had while we were do doing the films in Bandua part. And it was very simple because Everyone, every, each, each of us have some responsibility about what uh, we are doing and we wanted to keep these sharing uh, moments and uh, acknowledgements and uh, conversations with everyone. Yes, and when we start to have the bureaucratic uh, part as well, when, when we became autonomous, we also need to take decisions. And uh, the, I think the only way to deal with that is the fact that we are several people. And so uh, we try to communicate a lot. In that way, we take the decisions collectively. And so everyone is kind of aware and the responsibilities are, uh, we try to, to make it uh, to share with other people. And we believe uh, this way we can uh, have a management of it. Because if it would be just one person in a completely hierarchic system, we would, wouldn't manage because we also want to make films. So we took some advantage of it. We tried to spread the responsibilities to all of us have it, to, to don't make like the person that does the decisions, we all take the decisions. And this way, we are still able to make films. And, to, uh, and uh, of course, the key word is communication and trust to, to make something more horizontal as possible. At least we try. Yeah, because we all want to make films, and this is essential. There's not a producer in the film. There, we are all directors, animators, and uh, it is important for us that everyone does a little bit of everything and we help each other in the making of the film. There's not just one person doing just one thing. And the cooperative is very important, but we have all, all the people that work there, they work in several stages of the films. And in that way, knowing the entire or how to make the entire production of a film is very important because it maintains us continuously during time and we can split places and keep doing whatever, whatever we want. I think we talk a lot about which project we all feel that it's prepared to move forward uh, and to have new people, well, usually people join us and start to work as animators or, and people start to develop their own stuff, so it's a kind of organic way, there is not like a, an interview, <laughs> it's hard, sometimes it might exist for a specific film and how is this, how the things start, you know, but once you are working with us, we are always trying to maintain, to keep, to understand if it makes more sense in other um, uh, projects and productions. So I think it's kind of hard to say, uh, 
what do you need to, of course we have some kind of guides, uh, but uh, there is not a formula for how, which person can fit. It's yes. just a empathy and uh, a frequency, you, you told that. It's we, have the, we, we share the same frequency in the studio. Mm -hmm. We are six of us, but there are 20 people working there that they feel also part of the cooperative. Even if they don't vote, we sometimes don't use that a lot, so we never did it. You know, so I think everyone shares the same frequency and same conversations about the films, about all everything that is going, uh, that is happening in the studio. So we yeah, because when we take the decisions, even if we are just six, we talk with all of these twenty people, like when we are in lunch or going out or in the studio. So even if uh, in a formal way we are six people there, and somehow it's not six people, it's something more. Yeah. Bigger, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I think we're slowly learning <laughs> and understand even for the series, we, to be honest, we are trying to understand the funds that we have for the series. It's a development fund, so we are trying to understand if it's something that would fit on our way of working and if it's something that uh, it will move forward or not. But regarding the, the feature films, I think it's something that uh, we... Uh, aim. With this feature film, and it is in Portugal, we only have two feature films done until now, so we are learning even to talk to, to someone related to fiction films is very difficult. So we are in this process of learning, but we are doing it. And we are also doing in the studio, the finishing your short films, Laura and Alexandra, uh, the Percebes, and also the Lonely Dog from uh, Marta Reis Andrade. So we have plenty of work happening right now. We have another two productions to begin. Uh, sooner, a film of Alessandro. Also, also short films, so that's one thing we want to continue making. Short films is very important for us. Uh, and this is very um, important, this new feature, uh, because it's going to teach us a lot about how that production can go, because it's completely different from a short film. But uh, short films are very important for us as a, a means of communication. In this process, we, we have developed until now from Ten years or more, we know how to do short films and we know how to maintain everyone happy doing it. The feature film involves another, uh, other things that we are not aware or we are aware but we don't know how to control it. So we are learning, as Alessandra said, constantly and we are sure that after this feature is done, we hope not very long time to do it, but uh, as soon as we finish this feature, we are capable or not to continue to do uh, larger projects. Until now, we are really comfortable and happy with the short films. We are doing two more now, and the series is what Alexandra said. It's, uh, the, she is developing one series, she, Alexandra is developing another, but at a certain point, if they think that that's not the way, we can change it. And yeah, because it's a new world for us and we still need to learn a lot about that world of making series. And we are aware that sometimes it's not the same as doing shorts as we have been doing until now. So uh, it's the reason why it's really clear for us that it's like a kind of a learning process and we are trying to understand if it makes sense or not. It's never easy to, to because we need to, to have projects to apply and to get funds and sometimes it's not, we, it's not a certain. So we have uh, lots of authors in our uh, cooperative that are doing projects and we managed until now to have always some projects to apply and we have likely to, to, to be financed, to, to have them financed. But even the shorts are getting bigger in a way of uh, financial ways, uh, terms. So we are working also with the co-productions because they are m very important for now, uh, nowadays for us. And we are trying to keep that. Uh, we are not, we don't want to give big steps and trying to, to, to lose this, not control because it's never controlled, but lose this path of going slowly. And with the money we have, we try to, to 
put more money in the films because they need they are uh, getting bigger but uh, yeah but still we are a bit lucky in Portugal because we have funds for animation and if we talk with people for other countries sometimes we realize that we are lucky so it's a kind of a group of things a group of factors like it's a that we have this situation that uh, uh, that we have funds for animation and we are several authors and we all like each other's work <laughs> so yeah so we basically in term in practical terms we uh, we know that we need to apply with another project because that one is finishing so to keep the team always having monthly pay we need to calendarize so when this role finishes, you need to pass into the other project. And this is the hard part, is to understand the timings of things. When one is finished, and he can go and work on the other. So um, it's, it's uh, complex, and it can be smooth sometimes, and more complex the others. Uh, so we just have to move things around. But yeah, it's... Uh, uh, we try taking to care of uh, taking care of each other. other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>